Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here with another video um, to talk about sexuality. Now, um, you know, uh, to start off, homosexuality has uh, risen and has gotten a lot of uh, acceptance in society and um, is doing pretty well for itself and uh, um, it's starting to become, uh, people are comparing it to the new black struggle, the African American struggle, the American, African American struggle and uh, they're giving it these big names and like um, everyone is just backing it up all the way you know more than 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 uh, since the since the uh, since African American struggle you know in America um, I think that uh, you know bisexuality transgender and all those other stuff you know um, it's all being accepted it's all going you know eventually it's gonna be a gay president and all those other stuff you know it's all gonna go toward that direction and uh, one thing that I want to talk about is sexuality and in all seriousness is that uh, homosexuality is all well and good because of their uh, oppression and their uh, um, back in the 90s nobody cared about it nobody really was supporting it except for the Simpsons you know uh, but nowadays um, young kids teenagers everyone in their 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s um, are supporting it and uh, gay marriage is starting to spread nationwide in the US and uh, you know it's just it's just a like wildfire you know it's going everywhere in it and you know hom homosexuality is a great thing and uh, I have no, no, nothing negative except for some which in this video I want to talk about there are some elements of negativity uh, the thing is though is that um back in the early 2000s people that oppose homosexual rights and and uh, and marriage and all that uh, feared that when people accepted homosexuality and it was going to become more in the uh, more in the mainstream of people's acceptance that uh, um, pedophilia pedophiles were going to also get their acceptance wanted to get their acceptance too and at the time uh, homosexuals and the LGBT community said no it's not going to happen but it did uh, pedophiles now are starting to it's starting to bubble up slowly people are starting to kind of ex, uh, trying to you know um, pedophilia is gonna be the new black gay struggle when gay people become fully accepted you know after pedo after homosexuality after the first gay president first first two years of his or her term in the US people are gonna uh, people if pedophilia gets picked up more Pedophilia is going to be the new struggle that people are going to support <clears throat> and slow uh, and that's the thing that uh, pedophilia is something that I don't want to support and that uh, I hope that in the future people will see this and say yes he was right we shouldn't have supported but uh, that's one of the things that's negative about homosexuality and that's one of the things that's negative about sexuality itself now um, getting to the point um, asexuality is a sexuality that I fully support 120,000 percent the reason why I support it is because um, to me personally and I think and I hope that other people will agree is that uh, homosexual I mean um, asexuality um, represents so many things that people just have not really thought of from it it represents uh, positivity it represents uh, it represents some um, 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 self-improvement it represents um, it represents everything that people want to be that people want to become that, that I know people want to become self-improvement uh, um, uh, um, it, 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 uh, uh, positivity it, it, it represents uh, um, self-righteousness and uh, the return to uh, the innocence um, to the simplicity of this living and loving life that's what asexuality represents to me asexuality um, to me is like um, the beacon of hope 
in a dark world of hopelessness. Uh, uh, a glimmer of light in a dark, dastardly maze of confusion that the world is. You know, asexuality is superior than homosexuality in all its forms. Asexuality is superior than homosexuality because it represents everything that is good, everything that people want to be, and everything that I want uh, to become, and everything that, that I believe in. Um, you know, it's the, it's the Anderson Silva of sexualities. It's the Michael Jordan. It's the Mike Tyson. It's the Michael Jackson. It's the, it's the, um, it's the, it's the end all be all sexuality of all sexualities. Now the, now the thing is though is that, um, asexuality to me, um, if I had it my way and what, uh, what asexuality is, uh, in my eyes, when it starts to become more accepted is, um, is the um, <clears throat> basically the 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 direction of uh, of uh, finding oneself in balance and uh, um, becoming um, more complete? You know, um, asexuality is uh, is an unsung hero of sexualities. You know, it's an untrained. Um, it's a, it, to me, it's an untrained. Um, athlete that you know can become great and that will triumph all, above all sexualities but in, uh, we're so early in the stages of its, of its acceptance that no one really um, knows or cares about it you know and uh, asexuality is um, if to me in more detail asexuality is um, it represents a, 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 a return to the innocence of childish um, um, simplicity you know uh, to me it's um, asexuals not all of them are all um, perfect some of them are pan some of them are demi I'm not saying that, that that's bad but to me asexuality can become something greater it, uh, why not why can't we just live in a and in, in, you know because why can't we live back to the way we were when we were children? You know, when we were children, we didn't um, think of others as sexual. We thought of everybody as equal, men and women. You know, for me at least, and I know for many of people, when you're five or six years old, people were all equal. And you weren't attracted to them. But you treated them with equal uh, grace and with equal embrace and with equal positive... Um, virtues and just you know you treated everybody right you know you looked at everything right you, you want to live your life as, as children we lived asexually if you really think about it we didn't have no attraction to nothing all we want to do is have fun live simple and be active make friends um go on adventures uh and, and um asexuality re re represents the return to that you know because the thing is, though, the homosexuality, whether we like it or not, is going to influence the masses of the U.S. within 10 years from now. It's going to completely drastically change how people perceive the same gender as whether they're attractive or not. And most of them are going to go t geared toward um, being more hypersexual and uh, find the same gender attractive. And it's going to affect the children, too. You know, and like the, the, the innocence is kind of lost there. You know why can't we live in a um, in a state of uh, constant um, questioning, innocence, a state of uh, uh, why? Uh, because the thing is though is that like as 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 we get older, we get ahead of ourselves. Because as children we develop um, social social communications, social uh, un understandings, just a. Uh, you know, in the small world of child of the of the child, they slowly build up social connections and social understandings of their world through other kids. And as they get older, the reason why I believe that they become sexually attracted to other people is because uh, the the media plays a big part. Um, the mental energy that 
that uh, people give off in the world that we live in changes the way that our neuroplasty uh, receives information and it changes the way that we think and perceive our, our, our environment you know and uh, we get ahead of ourselves as children we get we, we get confident we socially we get socially involved with people and and whether we like it or not a lot of times we're attracted to the to the social aspect that surrounds an individual not actually the individual themselves it's mostly um, we're attracted to the social the concept that surrounds a person how pop culture creates the perception of beauty we follow concepts of beauty per decade like I said in other videos beauty doesn't exist what exists is the concepts or uh, what, what exists is the trends in which society changes every decade Be uh, one female is flavor of the year one male is a flavor of the year but uh, but beauty is a trend it's not real it's not set in stone you know um, back in Asia I don't know where exactly men used to find women attractive that had their feet clumped in and flattened their their their, their toes pushed in toward the bottom uh, towards the heel flattened it was used to wear small shoes so like the concept of what people find is, is always changing and I think that uh, um, we need to return to a, a state of uh, a simplicity of a uh, constant uh, of uh, um, questioning not too much asserting but as children we we, we always live in a, in a well, well, what is this what are they doing what, what is this you know oh well, well, why is the girl taking off her shirt or things like that like um, we question it we're not attracted to it we're questioning it but we're living in a simplified world and we're living in a, in, in, in a simplified um, peaceful world um, we need to return back to that and asexuality represents that represents uh, um, it, 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 asexuality has so much potential to influence the world in a positive manner because you're finding um, you're finding yourself you know you're finding um, a betterness, a better version of yourself, an improved version of yourself. You know, and uh, I can't, I, I forgot uh, what I typed on my post on Facebook, but it was something that had to do with uh, the words exactly I'm trying to, I'm missing out on it. It's, uh, you know, um, you know, just living in the world, living in the world of constant simplicity and constant purity not having to be sexual like masturbation masturbation is just a whole lot of a whole mess of no, a whole mess of nothing you know there's uh, no fapping going on the movement of no fapping which is no masturbation which is really positive and I always wished and dreamed for something like that and it did happen and um, basically the masturbation is just a lot of mess because you know you're using your occipital lobe and your motor your motor um, your motor skills, your, your motor function, the brain, your, you know, it, it uses a lot of energy, you know, you're using your physical body to actually, your mind and your body is using a lot of energy just to ejaculate or just to uh, masturbate, you know, using a lot of energy that you could put into solving a math, uh, solving a math problem that's never been solved, or putting the energy into uh, fixing your neighborhood or something like that you know so uh, and homosexuality represents too much it's just an excessive form of asexuality is nothing but an excessive form of sexuality that's why asexuality doesn't you know some some asexuals do masturbate but asexuality is a superior and I hope that asexuality replaces homosexuality and I hope that even no matter how high homosexuality gets asexuality as long as it rears its head in the right moment people will recognize that it is a better sexuality it's almost being like abstinent but it's almost like living in the what the Bible what the preachers what the church wants you to be but we're not following a religion we're following something that is factual something that is um, um, something that we all can comprehend and all connect to it's something that's more um, atheist kind of based but positive you know it's 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 asexuality is everything it's the full circle it's a spectrum of everything that's great but uh, um and uh and i hope that 
it replaces homosexuality and all the other sexualities as a superior one only definitive sexuality of course heterosexuality is also good too but asexuality is superior and I hope that people recognize that and uh, I don't really care if I offend the homosexuals at all you know because asexuality is the best and that's just it Mr. Ricky Cispedes and uh, thank you for watching